still with me? Guys, there is a shockingly easy way to save money on your trip to Thailand. Stop doing this. Never choose yes here. This will cost you money. In this video, I'll explain why and what you should do. If you know the expression more value for money, this is it. Three ways possible. I'll start with the worst, end with the best, and the best one will save you plenty. So listen up. This is about how you get your cash money. This is nothing difficult. I'm not gonna talk about eating at food stalls or something, which also saves you money, but this is not about that. Because you'll spend a lot more cash money here than you're used to back home. Back home we do a lot with card. Here in Thailand that is a lot less. Not all the shops accept cards or maybe they will accept certain types of cards and it won't be your type of card. So, you'll need cash money. How do you get it? Three ways possible. I'll start with the worst, end with the best, and the best one will save you plenty. So listen up. First one, uh, you go to the ATM machine. Disclaimer, ATM machines always charge you per time you take money. This will be like six dollars slash euros so make sure to get bigger amounts because if you like ev every day it will cost you money right you go to the atm put your card in select the amount i'm gonna give you a little bit of uh, numbers with this i'll put it on the screen so you can follow me stay with me I'm gonna keep it super simple this is to give you an example let's say we go to the atm machine and we get ourselves 15,000 baht. Now, how much money is 15,000 baht, you ask? How much money is that in dollars, euros? Depends, really depends on which type of method you choose to get your money. First one, put your card in, select the 15,000 baht, and the machine will give you two options, with conversion rate or without conversion rate. But in the screen, it will show you only the amount of money in your own currency with conversion rate. Back to the example, 15,000 baht, right? If I would get that money in euros, 420 euros. If I would do that in dollars, my 15,000 baht would be 453 dollars. If I exchange that, like I make it into baht, it's like for every euro, there will be like 35.7 baht per euro, uh, dollars 33. If you choose with conversion rate, this is what you get. You can also choose the second option, which is already better than the first, without conversion rate. How much is the difference? Hey, I'm really quick here. I just want to say, please help us to grow. We are a smaller channel and you can do it by subscribing to our channel here. Click on that button under this video. Thank you so much. How much is the difference? We cannot see it on the machine. The machine will not tell you. The machine will only tell you with conversion rate, but without conversion rate. We checked it on our bank account. 15,000 baht in euros uh, will cost us 405 euros in dollars. That would be 437. This means that without conversion rate, I get for each euro 37 baht instead of 35.7 baht. And for dollars, it would be uh, with a conversion rate. 33 baht without conversion rate i get 34.3 baht for each dollar so it's already more right so the difference in euros is 15 euros it will be 15 euros cheaper to get 15,000 baht than with conversion rate you still with me <laughs> dollars it will be 16 dollars cheaper so if you go to the atm machine Two tips, always take large amounts of money because uh, each time you take money, 
you get charged and without conversion rate it will save you for this example like 15 euros 16 dollars for this time alone best way to get your money how to get even more value for money exchange money big butt here <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> all right all right so exchanging money is the best way to get the, the most value for money but not all money exchange agency give you good deals most of them don't uh, we found one that gave us a really good deal we got a lot of tips for this uh, we did it at the airport we only did it at the airport super rich is the name of the company super rich gave us for each euro 38.5 baht this is even more than the without conversion option at the ATM. For dollars, it would be 35.5 baht. For each dollar, you get 35.5 baht, which makes it the way to get the most value for your money. It's that easy. Now, I understand maybe you don't want to bring the cash for your whole vacation with you, could be a lot right maybe you feel a little bit uncomfortable with it we certainly don't we don't want to bring an amount that big with us but for like the first few days week we're okay with that so we bring a certain amount and we exchange it at the airport uh, so to get that that first good deal right super rich um, I'm not sure how the other super rich offices which exchange rate they give you um, I've heard that they are pretty good all the time um, I can't tell you because I, I didn't see them yet but at the airport they were really good this was also the only exchange uh, agency where there was an actual line super rich at the airport Suvanabumi all the way down in the basement at the train so you almost like go into the train station and there it is conclusion three ways to get money in Thailand ATM uh, with conversion the worst always choose the second one without conversion make sure to get big amounts of money because you pay for each time you use the ATM best way exchange money at super rich gets you the most value for money um, that's it super easy uh, I hope this will help you I mean, uh, uh, sometimes it can be that easy to save money. Do with it what you like. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.